Hey guys, this is MacHeads101 with our 13th iPhone programming tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an app that has a grid of images. When you click an image, it'll get big, and when you click it again, it'll go back to normal size. So let's go into Xcode, create a new project, and I'll call it Image Grid. Alright, under classes, we're going to create a new file, and we're going to call this file, we're going to make it a subclass of UI view, we'll call it touch image view. This view, it's not going to be the same as we've been doing with our core graphics because we're going to have multiple versions of this view and each one of these views, uh, each instance, will have an image in it. So we're going to have a UI image view and I'll call it internal. And I'm going to have a method internal which will return the internal view. Alright, so I'm going to go here, I'm going to say, return internal. Alright, and in our init with frame, we're going to say, internal equals UI image view, LI, init with frame, self dot bounds. And then we're going to set the background color, black color, and internal set content mode UI view content mode scale aspect hit. and we're going to say self add sub view internal auto release now auto release means that after we add it as a sub view it'll release since we alloc it we have to release it and auto release makes it so that happens for us so that way we don't have to worry about memory leaks alright now up here in our view did load of our main view controller we're going to use something called a loop to basically lay out a bunch of these so I'm going to have two variables, I'm going to have int rows equals 3 and columns equals 3 and now if you recall rows is going to be the height and columns is going to be the width so we'll say for int y equals 0 y less than rows y plus plus and for int x equals zero x less than columns x plus plus now right now x and y don't represent coordinates they'll be a number zero one or two because the max they can be is this so first of all we're going to get the size we're going to declare a cg size which will be the size of each column or of each block. So we'll say block size equals cg size make and for width we'll make self dot frame dot size dot width over columns. And for height, and first of all we have to do self dot view. But anyway, for height we'll say self dot view dot frame dot size dot height over rows. Um, Alright, and here we're gonna declare a cg point cg point block origin equals cg point make x times block size dot width y times block size dot height all right and we're going to declare cg rect block frame block frame dot size will equal block size and block frame dot origin will equal block origin um all right, now we have to actually create a touch image view. So we're going to declare touch image view, TIV equals touch image view alloc, and knit with frame. And we already have our frame, so we just supply it there. All right, so now we're going to um, configure this. Normally, we'd set images here. For now, we're not. We're going to say self add, or self dot view add sub view TIV auto release. And that's all we have to do. Now, as you recall, we made the background color of TIV black. And we're adding enough TIVs to fill the whole screen. So, when we run this, uh, first of all, I have to import it. So, we have to import it in our header. But anyway, when we run this, I have a prediction that it'll be a black screen. And I'm correct, it's a black screen. 
So I'm just going to set it so it runs on our iPhone simulator next time. Alright, so now let's take a look at setting some images. So I'm going to take a screenshot of some random part of my desktop. And this is going to be the image. Actually, I should rename it. This is going to be the image that we sh show in each, in each block. So here we're going to say UI image block image equals UI image image named image.png. And I'll say div internal set image block image. Now, if you recall, internal is going to return our image view that fills up this block. So essentially, this will make every single block have the image we want. And as you can see, it's a grid of these blocks um, all running again in the iPhone simulator so you can get an idea to see that it's actually filling out the whole screen. So there you see it. Um, now what we're going to do is make it so when you click on one of the blocks, it makes it the full size of the screen. So we're going to declare two methods in our touching method. We're going to say void make full, void make small. And we're going to have two more things here. We're going to have cg rect original full is large. Alright, so let's go now here and let's implement these. Make small, we'll say UI view begin animation nil context null because we're going to animate it. UI view set animation duration 0.5. UI view commit animation set self set frame original. Now we need to set original. So we're going to copy this. Direct large frame equals self super view dot bounds. I'm not sure if it's super view or super view. Alright, so large frame. But first we have to back up the original frame, so we'll say original equals self dot frame. And this is what we'll allow. So when we make full, we're backing up the original frame. When we make small, we restore the original frame. Now, in order to call either of these, Oh, and another thing I'm going to do is set that boolean. So is large will equal yes here. And is large will equal no here. Now, in order to call these, we have to have a method on touches began. So we're going to say if is large, then self make small, else self make full. And you'll notice that by default, is large will always be no. So it'll, it'll scale it up when we click on it. Now, let's try ahead and running this. And we click it, and it, it moves there. That's because um, our image view isn't moving with it. So we're setting the frame of the, of the big view, but we have an internal image view that we're not resizing. So what we're going to do here in make full Let's say, in, uh, we're going to say internal set frame self dot bounds, and here we're going to once again say internal set frame self dot bounds, and we're going to do these actually in the animation part so that way uh, it animates that as well. So let's go ahead and run this one more time, and it does resize up, but unfortunately. Once again, it's it's being covered by that the other views. So the bottom one will obviously be on top. This one, as you can see. So in order to make a view go to the top on make full, we're gonna say self super view bring sub view to front self, and that will make sure that we're on top when we're getting to be full. So. As you can see, whenever I tap anywhere, it becomes full screen.
and if I tap too fast, it looks awful. But that's that's for another tutorial. Anyway, that is how to make a little grid app. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this with a bunch of different images, so you can actually have a different one for each square. So thanks for watching, Matt Kitson One. Subscribe and goodbye.